Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to show you how to create a dash ability in Roblox Studio. This is a great way to add more dynamic movement to your games and make your characters feel more responsive. This tutorial is going to be simple, so even if you're new to scripting, you'll be able to follow along. Let's dive right in. First, let's set up our dash script. In the Explorer window, go to Starter Player and Starter Player Scripts and click the plus icon and insert a local script. Let's rename this to be dash script. Inside the script, we'll start by defining some variables. We're going to need a few things, a reference to the player, the character, the humanoid, and some parameters for our dash like speed and cooldown. Here we set up references to the player and their character as well as the humanoid which handles movement. We also define the speed of the dash, how long it should last, and a cooldown so the dash can't be spammed. The isDashing variable will track if the player is currently dashing and the last dash time will manage the cooldown. Now let's create a function that will handle the dashing. This function will move the player forward quickly for a short period of time. This function first checks if the player is already dashing or if they're still in the cooldown cooldown period. If they can dash, we set is dashing to true and record the current time. Then we store the character's original walk speed, increase the speed for the dash, and wait for the duration of the dash. After that, we reset the walk speed to its original value and set is dashing back to false. Now we need to connect our dash function to a key press. For this tutorial, we'll use the left shift key, which is commonly used for dashing or sprinting in games. We'll use the user input service to detect when the player presses the key. Here, we use user input service to listen for when the player presses the left shift key. When the key is pressed, we call our dash function. The game process event parameter is used to check if the input was used by another UI element, but in this case, we're ignoring it. Now let's test our dash ability. Click the play button at the top of the screen, and once you're in the game, press the left shift key. You should see your character dash forward. Remember, it will only dash if the cooldown period is passed. Awesome. And that's how you add a dash ability to your game in Roblox Studio. You can customize this further by adding visual effects, sound effects, or even implementing dashes in different directions. If you found this tutorial helpful, please be sure to like and subscribe for more Roblox Studio tutorials. Drop a comment below if you have any questions or if there's a specific feature you'd like to see in the next video. If you have something specific about dashing, I'd be glad to add it. Just let me know what you'd like to see and I will see what I can do. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.